All right, there's another video for 2HT about exercise 17. And 17 is kind of a big exercise. Here's A, and then here we have B, and here we have C. So all of it together is kind of big, right? But uh, we'll just uh, do it step by step. First, we'll do A. It says in 2003, 2.2 million Dutch people visited a bowling center at least once. Only 0.8% of them were members of the Dutch Bowling Federation, the NBF. In 2010, the MBF had 14,000 14, members. Did the membership of the MBF increase or decrease over that period? Okay, so what we need to know is we need to know how many members they had for both of those years. Well, we know 2010 because 2010 is 14,500, it says so over here. But for 2003, uh, we don't know the number of members. We do know how many people uh, went to a bowling center and what percentage of them were members. So we have to calculate 0.8% of that. Now 0.8% is 0.008. Okay? The reason for that is because here 1% is 1 out of 100, so that's 0.01. So you see that you move the point two places. So if the number is already broken, like 0.5%, then it will be 0.005. Right? You can also uh, check that with your uh, calculator if you want. Because if I type in here, 0 0.8, and then I press the percentage button, which is over here, right? So I have to press this one, and then this one here, and then it says, oh, it's that number. And that's the one we use to, uh, to calculate with. So here we have a 0 0.008, and we multiply that with 2.2 million. So if I multiply this with 2.2, I get 0 0.0176. Now this is in millions, but I want to say how much it is in thousands, right? So this is in million. So if I move the point three places, I get um, yeah, 17,600 people. So you can see that the number of members went down. See that? It went from this number to that number. So it was a decrease. And the question is, by what percentage? So here we have the rule that I explained in my previous video. The rule to calculate this is uh, new minus old divided by old times 100. So this is the new amount, and this is the old amount. So we do 14,500 minus 17,600 divided by 17,600 and then times 100. Now you can type that into your calculator, and if you type that into your calculator, you will get minus, that's why it's a decrease, and then 17.6. Now it's a coincidence that this is 176, and this is also. All right? So in another exercise, you'll see that it will be different. So don't think that it will always be 176 here. Right? It was just a coincidence. So it's a 17.6% uh, decrease, and that's the answer. Then we're going to move to exercise B. It says, in 2010, the MBF ran a promotion campaign to get more members. The goal was to increase the membership by 40% by 2018. How many members is their goal? Well, we know the number of members in 2010. In 2010, there were 14,500 members. And now they want to have 40% more so that means that we take 100% and we add 40% to it, because then you have a 40% increase. It's 140%. So the number that we multiply with is 1.40. So we're going to take the 14,500 and we're going to multiply that with 1.40. And then let's see what we get. 14,500 times 1.40 is 20,300 members. And that's the answer for B. And then we're going to go to uh, C. It says the uh, chairman Pin, that's the, the name of the guy, and his name is Pin, of the local bowling association is not so optimistic. He predicts an 8% decrease in the memberships between 2010 and 2018. If the chairman is right, by what percentage will the membership decrease by 2003 and 2018? Okay, so we know the decrease between uh, these two numbers, but we don't know the decrease between those two numbers. I'm going to write down uh, on all the numbers of members. So in 2003, there were 17,600 members. We calculated that over here, remember? In 2010, there were 14,500 members, and it was given in the story over here. See that? 14,500 members. And then in 2018, we don't know. But it says uh, there might be an 8% decrease compared to this number. So we have to take this number, and then you, there's, if there's an 8% decrease, you have to multiply this with 0 0.92. Because 100% minus 8% is 92%, and then you move to 0.2 places. So let me calculate what this is, times 0 0.92, and then we have uh, 13,340. Okay. 
And then we want to know what is the percentage decrease between 2003 and 2018. So then we do a new, which is uh, 13,340, minus old, which is 17,600, divided by old, which is 17,600, and then times 100. And then we have, uh, let me see what this will be. I have to uh, type it into the uh, calculator over here. It will be um, a decrease of 24.2%. Uh, Okay, and the minus suggests that it's a decrease. So this was uh, exercise 17. Hopefully you enjoyed it or you understood it. And then uh, you can watch a new video later. Bye-bye.